Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. We will look into this session how to solve simultaneous linear equations using gauss jordan method. We have three equations x plus y plus z equal to 9, 2x plus 5y plus 7z equal to 52, 2x plus 5 minus g equal to 0. So how we will solve as part of gauss jordan method? Let's try to spend couple of minutes to understand. Now suppose if I take argumented matrix of this, you know that argumented matrix will be nothing but all the coefficients and the constant x plus y plus z equal to 9, 1x plus 1y plus 1z equal to 9. So I will write 1, 1, 1, 9. Similarly, 2, 5, 7, 52, 2, 1, minus 1. 0. Now this as part of gauss jordan method by applying the row transformations basically what you are trying to do is you are trying to add the equations or you are multi you are actually subtracting the equations adding one equation by multiplying other equations some k times or multi dividing the whole equation with a constant something like that but you are trying to do all row transformations and you want to convert it into a identity matrix. You can see that you can see that your equations became from x plus y plus z equal to 9, x equal to a, y equal to b, and z equal to c. So you have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So since y and z are 0 in the first equation, it becomes x equal to a, y equal to b, z equal to c. Now how to convert this? For this, there are couple of steps which you can follow. Let us say this is a11 element and this is a12, a21, a31. If you are okay with that nomenclature, a11, a12, a13, a22, a23 a3 to a3 3 there are just five steps by which you can obtain the solution of this first thing okay first you have to do a11 equal to 1 make a11 equal to 1 whenever i say make it is apply transformations once you done that okay what you have to do in the second step is using a11 make a21 comma a31 as zeros okay now what you will have after that you will have a11 as 1 and a21 a31 are zeros so two zeros are there right in the same position in two rows you have zeros so it's easy for you to make another one zero so what you can do then make a23 and a32 as zeros now after this you will have your b and c values okay now only the thing is you have to get a, a you have to get value of a for that what you will do make a12 and a13 as zeros using R2 and R3 row number 2 and row number 3 let's look at simple example this example itself now ok the example what we have is we have noted down already there Wha we first one make a11 equal to 1 that's pretty fine because already it is 1 I have 1, 1, 1, 9. The next thing is using a11, using a11, make a21, a31 as 0. So I will write here, I will write here, what is that op operation I am going to do, row, row transformation, what I am going to do, R, I want a21 and a31 as 0. So what I have to do, I have to write 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2. So can I say, 
R2 is assigned R2 minus 2 R1 that way it becomes 2 minus 2 into 1 0 similarly can I say R3 is assigned R3 minus 2 R1 that way I will also have a 3-1 also as zeros. Now what this will become? 2 minus 2 into 1 0 5 minus 2 into 1 3 7 minus 2 into 1 5 52 minus 2 into 9 18 if you take it out from 52 it is 34. Similarly look at R3 2 minus 2 0 1 minus 2 minus 1 negative 1 minus 1 minus 2 negative 3 then you have 0 minus 2 into 9 that is nothing but equal to minus 18. So you can see now with one step what we got is 1 1 1 9 0 th we have got this step completed. Now you have to focus on second row and third row only because that is where you have zeros. So what you will do now apply transformation and try to make sure either a 2 3 and a 3 2. First let us go for a 3 2. If I go to a 3 2 right third row and column I want I have minus 1 here. If I multiply this with 3 it becomes minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So what I will do my next step my next step what I am going to do is I will say R3 is assigned R3 if I take R3 minus 1 so I have to multiply with 3 R3 plus R2 I can do that similarly at the same time what I can do is I can say R1 is assigned see here I want another 0 at uh, a12 also right so I can use the same place to do the transformation otherwise we can do it in separately also I can get 3 into 1 3 minus 3 right so I can say R1 is assigned 3 R1 minus R2 let us see what happens now this is going to be interesting okay right let's come back now first you are doing both the operations on R2 so R2 will remain as it is 0 3 34 we are not touching it let's go to r1 r1 is 3 into r1 minus r2 that's nothing but 3 r1 equal to 3 into r1 minus r2 3 minus 3 is 0 then you have r1 equal to 3 r1 minus r2 that is minus 2 then you have r r1 equal to 3 into r1 minus r2 that is nothing but 27 3 nines are 27 minus 34 that is nothing but minus 7 now we got 1 0 in the first row now let us see this how r3 is becoming 3 into r3 plus r2 0 for the first element second element is minus 3 plus 3 0 you got a 0 now for the third element th this is minus 9 plus 5 that is nothing but minus 4 ok and you have 3 r 3 plus r 2 that is nothing but 3 into minus 18 minus 54 plus 34 that is nothing but equal to minus 20 now what I can do is I can take 4 out I got 0 0 1 right I got my one element perfect so I say 3 0 minus the 3 0 minus 2 minus 7 0 3 5 34 and if I take minus 4 out I will have 0 0 1 5 you can see now as part of this step we made a 3 2 as 0 and we also made a 1 2 0 we did part of that we will finish it now now what is the next thing I have to apply to make sure that I can get I can get second row third element that is a 2 3 as 0 right I want to make a 2 3 as 0 now if I apply between r 2 and r 3 0 and 0 will not have any problem 
3 minus of multiples of 0 will not have any problem. If I do 5 minus 5, I can get this one as 0. So, immediately I will go and say R2 is assigned R2 minus 5R3. That way, I will have 5 minus 5 is 0. Similarly, can I do something on R1 with R3 also? R1 minus 2 here and I have 2 here. So, I can say R1 plus 2 R3. Now, let us see. This should give us more information. Okay, right. Now, we are doing operation on R3 in both the places. So, this is solved. 0, 0, 1, 5. My Z value is 5. Now, I am interested in R1, R2. First, R2 minus 5, R3. 0 minus 0, 0. 3 minus of 5 into 0, 3. Then you have 5 minus 5, 0. And you can see 34 minus 25. That's equal to 9. You can take 3 out. You got your 0, 1, 0, 3. See how simple it is. Now, we have to do R1. 3 plus 2, R3. Is 3 only? Then you have 0, 0, it will be 0 only. Minus 2 plus 2, it will be 0. I will have minus 7 plus 10, that's equal to 3. If you take 3 out from the, if you take 3 out from the first column, you will have 1, 0, 0, 1. If you take 3 out from the second row, sorry, it's not column, it's actually row. First row, second row, you take 3 out. You will have 0, 1, 0, 3 and you will have 0, 0, 1, 5. So, the solutions are ABC values as we discussed earlier. A equal to 1, B equal to 3 and C equal to 5. Let us substitute this and make sure that we are okay or not. A equal to 1, nothing but X equal to 1, Y equal to 3, Z equal to 5. 1 plus 3 plus 5, 9, correct. 2 into X, 2 plus 5 into y, 5, 3s are 15, plus 2, 17, 17 plus 7 into 5, 35, 52, correct. 2 into 1, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 minus 5 is correct. So, the values of 1, 3, 5 are correct. So, these are the only 4 steps which are needed to solve any Gauss-Jordan problem. Just 4 steps you have to do. What you have to do? First thing, make sure that your first element, first row, first column element is always 1. Actually, you can have it some other element also. It becomes little bit more um, complicated or bigger numbers you will get. So, it is always better to make it as 1. If you have it as 1, then you make, try to make remaining 2 elements of the first column, A21, A31 as zeros by applying row transformations. Once you get it, very simple now. Now take R2 and R3 and get the remaining zeros as needed, A23 and A32. If you are very well conversant with the approach, you can do both 3 and 4 steps as in one strike itself like how I did. Otherwise, you can finish the third row, then you can go to the first row and you can use R2 and R3 to get R1. So, that way you can solve it very easily. It is very easy once you understand it. We will solve some more problems to in, in, in the same method, gauss jordan method to solve the simultaneous linear non-homogeneous equations. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. See you in the next session.